Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Phantom Fights. That's not correct. I went into autopilot. Hey, Brooklyn, let's start that over. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Bill. Welcome, welcome to a sports battlefield match where we have Michael Campbell taking on a piece of shit known as Jacob E. West. Um, we'll go to the main host now, Kill Coho. Brooklyn coming in and saving my ass because I went into autopilot there for a second. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Smurfs Battlefield. First matchup of round number two sees uh, the golden god, the candy man, as he was formerly called, Michael Campbell, back again, uh, stepping in to take on one of the biggest upsets of round one. Upset you, Jacoby West, uh, coming in. Uh, but, hey, I mean, you, 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 um, you're back in the tournament. But we'll go ahead. We'll hear uh, what these two have to say right now in promos. I am back. After defeating the little chef, Brooklyn, it is time to take on this, this golden god, Michael. And let me in on a little, a little secret. When, when uh, the Viking Raiders come in and take over, you know what the first thing they do after they take over is? We tear the gods down. And we start off with the golden ones. So, Michael... I'm sorry, but it's just business. Yeah, uh, I don't know what he said. Uh, he was talking about Vikings, Raiders. Uh, I mean, those are football teams. I guess this is, that counts because this is a sports match. But, um, you know, there's, there is one thing I want to talk about, and that is <clears throat> LeBron James. You know, a lot of people say he's not, he's not the GOAT, you know. And, you know, I would... I, I would give him that. I agree with that. But, you know, just – he went to eight straight finals. Let's just, you know, give him the respect he deserves, okay? Yes, he went through – his overall finals record is three and six, but move past that. He's he's great. Just don't hate on him, okay? Okay? That's – if there's one thing you uh, leave this match with, it's don't hate on LeBron. Please, for my heart and for yours. Let's, let's do this. All right, some fire promos there, Brooklyn. Uh, but we'll go ahead. Uh, we'll get into round number one, which works like this. You're going to get eight questions from eight different areas within the realm of sports battlefield. Should you get all eight questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats for the entirety of the match and a challenge rule. Any questions as we get into round number one? All right. Then, Brooklyn, you want to give them their first question? All right. Your first question comes in the category of the National Football League. How many seasons has Larry Fitzgerald played with with the Arizona Cardinals? Uh, also, I also want to correct a sign that, that Jacob had up, had up there. He played in the uh, Week East Division. It's actually an uh, Eastern Conference. They play the Eastern Conference. Uh, there are four divisions in the Eastern Conference. Five, four, three, two, one. As basketball players would say, dunk. All right, we'll go to Michael. Cool. 16. That is correct. And Jacob. No, I said 21. Oh, nope. Just the 16 seasons he's been in the NFL so far. All right. Shin comes in the category of the NBA. What NBA team drafted Zion Williamson with the first overall pick of the 2019 NBA draft? Probably the easiest question I'm going to give today. Just going to serve them up a little yeah. hand there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Is is it too early to call him the the next Greg Oden? Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go ahead. We'll start with Jacob on this one. The New Orleans Pelicans. That is correct. And Michael. The Pelicans. That is correct. All right, uh, gentlemen, your next question comes in the category of a major league baseball. What was the last year that the Atlanta Braves won the World Series? Uh, I, of course, uh, got my patented curse when testing this question. Um, I did not make myself a sandwich because I am out of bread. Uh, that is uh, very dis disappointing. You're out of bread? How's that happen? Because I don't have my check yet. Two. One. So you're literally out of bread both ways. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll go to Jacob. Was it 95? That is correct. And Michael? Of course. Of fucking course. Well, Brooklyn knows you a sandwich, and Jacob gets that point. All right. 
Your Joe. Jonathan, you correct me on the pronunciation here, Brooklyn. Jonathan Tavares signed with what team during the 2018 offseason? Yeah, that's, that? that, that's close enough. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I got a pronunciation right, guys. It's all that matters. Call the match. It's over. Let's go home. Go five. Two. One. Penn Stanley, we'll start with Michael. The Kings? As incorrect to go to Jacob. The Avalanche? It's also incorrect to go to the Toronto Maple Leaves. Toronto Maple Leaves. Alrighty, your next question comes in uh, the, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Who is the current UFC welterweight champion? How fitting that this question is asked, considering a very popular uh, Walter Wade fight will be happening uh, this Saturday. I did not know that, which is interesting. I, uh, I yeah. know that. I don't watch people punch each other. Five, four, three, two, one. Pass down. We'll start with Jacob. Is it uh, Dustin Poirier? Nope. Is incorrect. We'll go to Michael. It, it's really not. It's obviously Hulk Hogan. Ha! <laughs> ah. Uh, Looking for Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman. Uh, Kamaru Usman. Can you use that in a Kamaru Usman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your next question is uh, in the category of golf. Uh, what famous golfer's nickname is the king? Uh, to answer Michael's question from the last question, uh, Kamaru Usman defeated Tyron Woodley via unanimous decision to capture the UFC Ultimate Championship. Golf clap as this is a ha! five. That's it. And four. An excellent segue. Repeat the question. That is Jacob's first repeat. What famous golfer's nickname is the King? Uh, I have a bit of an affinity for that nickname, uh, considering I am the King. The the King. There should be a quotation mark by that. The King. The king. Well, there's quotation marks around every nickname. Yeah. You know? Five, four, three, two. One, pens down. We're going to start with Michael. Uh, the only king is LeBron. I'll just say that's what I said. Jack Nichols. That's incorrect. We're going to Jacob. I couldn't think of it, so I just said Rory McElroy. Incorrect. Looking for Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. <sighs> All right. We'll go to your next category, which is football, more commonly known as soccer. What country won the 2006 World Cup? We should try and ask World Cup questions. It's just it's more I have of a general to, grasp. Of I have to imagine, as a football fan, I would be, or, or as football fans would are probably watching this. Um, I would probably get annoyed because I like I I think it's fair to say we ask like there's a lot of like World Cup questions asked or like how this country won how many of them and what and whatnot. Five, four, three, two, one. That's fair. Heads down. We will start with Jacob. Uh, the same team that just won it recently, France. That's incorrect. We'll go to Michael. Germany? That's incorrect. Looking for Italy. <sighs> they Italy. bought. Yep. Hallie. All right. And your final question of the round is in the category of mixed bag. Who won the 2008 Heisman Trophy? You Americans and your fracking NCAA questions. This sort of and the this sort of NCAA question actually informs the NFL, so therefore I think it's uh it's fine normal. Well, then we should be asking Memorial Cup questions because they inform the NHL. Well, I could ask NCAA hockey questions because UND informs the NHL more than Canada. Five, four, three. Can you question? Yep, that will be Michael's first repeat. Who won the 2008 Heisman Trophy? I don't think it would have the same ring if it was like the the Lowesman Trophy. Who did you win the Lowesman Trophy? Yeah, I had the I had the, I had the lowest score in golf that year in the NCAA, NCAA. I give you mad props for that joke. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Michael. 
Yeah, hopefully it's not Matthew Stafford. I said Sam Bradford. That is correct. And we'll go to Jacob. Oh, I said uh, Mark Ingram. That's incorrect. All right. So at the end of round number one, Michael holds the lead three to <laughs> two. Right, anything can happen is we get round number two, which is the wheel round. It works like this. We're going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. If you like the category you land on, you're going to get five questions worth two points apiece from our multiple categories within Sports Battlefield. You will get five questions worth two points apiece. Multiple choice is an option, but it devalues the point down to being worth one. You can't spend on the second time. Your categories, of course, are NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, UFC, soccer, golf, and mixed bag. Michael, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or defer to Jacob? Uh, second. All right, so Jacob, your spin at the wheel is away, and it lands on the category of mixed bag. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Uh, let's go ahead and spin again. All right, and you are stuck with the category of soccer. Soccer. Got a soccer shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing a soccer shirt, so hopefully I don't blow soccer. this. Some good old soccer questions. What player has made the most Premier League appearances? Uh, let's go ahead and go multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Frank, Frank Lampard, A, Frank Lampard, B, Barry, C, David James, or D, Ryan Giggs. Can you repeat that one more time? I didn't hear the second one. Frank Lampard, B, Gareth Barry, C, David James, or D, Ryan Giggs. Um, I believe it was Ryan Giggs. As incorrect, Michael, a chance for a one-point steal. David Yang? As incorrect, looking for B, Gareth Barry. Gareth Barry. All right, your second question in soccer. Which team has won the most UEFA Champions League titles? Uh, multiple choice. Your options are A, Manchester United, B, Barcelona, C, Bayern Munich, or D, Real Madrid. Bayern, it's, sorry, it's pronounced Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, sorry. Thank you for coming up. Uh, Manu. Um, that is incorrect. Michael, a chance for a one-point steal. Can you repeat the options? Absolutely. Your options are A, Manchester United, B, Barcelona, C, Bjorn Munich, or D, Real Madrid. Uh, David. David. That, that is correct for a one-point steal. All right, your third question in soccer. In MLS, which player has the most regular season goals? Chris Wondolowski. That is incorrect. Michael, a chance for a two-point steal. Tim Cahill. That is also incorrect. Looking for Landon Donovan. Landon Donovan. You, you can challenge if you want. But I, I know. Uh, I am going to go ahead and challenge it. Okay. Back from the challenge, our question uh, it was Chris Wadalowski. Uh... So, we will go to your fourth question, Jacob. Uh, a team plays their home games in Providence Park. Uh, the New England Revolution. That is incorrect. Uh, Michael, the chance for a two-point steal. Daddy! Dad! New York Red Bulls? Uh, can you say that one more time for me? The New York Red Bulls? Actually, yeah. That is incorrect. Looking for the Portland Timbers. The Portland Timbers. All right. And your last question in soccer, Jacob. 
How many World Cup finals did Pele win? Um, three. That is correct for two points. All right, so at the end of that, Jacob gets himself in a lead six to four as we bring back the wheel for Michael to spin. All right, soccer is off the table. Your spin is away, and it lands on the category of NHL. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll spin again. Boo. All right. Boo. And you are stuck with the category of – it hits NHL again, so you are stuck with the NHL, unfortunately. All right. Uh, your questions in the NHL. First question. That is the wrong. There we go. Uh, what team was current New Jersey Devil PK Subin drafted by? I will go multiple choice. Your options are A, the Toronto Maple Leafs, B, the Montreal Canadiens, C, the Nashville Predators, or D, the Dallas Stars. B, boy, as in boy. That is correct for one point. That is correct for one point. All right, your second question in the NHL. The Chicago Blackhawks ended their Stanley Cup drought in 2010 by beating what team in six games? Multiple choice. Your options are A, the New York Rangers, B, the Boston Bruins, C, the Philadelphia Flyers, or D, the Pittsburgh Penguins? The Penguins? That is incorrect, Jacob. The chance for a one-point steal. Was it the Bruins? That is also incorrect. Looking for the Philadelphia Flyers. Philadelphia Flyers. All right, your third question in NHL, Michael. How many teams did Yarmir Jaeger play for in his career? Well, it's a choice. Your options are A3, B5, C7, or D9? Five. That is also incorrect. Jacob, the chance for a one-point steal. Three. It's also incorrect. Looking for nine. All right, your penultimate question in NHL: What state did the North Stars relocate to Dallas from to become the Dallas Stars? Thank you, Mighty Ducks. Uh, Minnesota. That is correct for two points. And your last question in the NHL. Who was the last goalie to win the Conn Smythe Trophy in the Stanley Cup Finals? Correct me if my pronunciation is wrong. Uh, multiple choice. Your options are A. Cam Ward, B. Tim Thomas, C. Jonathan Quick, or D. Corey Crawford. Tim Thomas. That is incorrect. Jacob, the chance for a one-point steal. Those options one more time. Uh, sure. Is it A, Cam Ward, B, Tim Thomas, C, Jonathan Quick, or D, Corey Crawford? Uh, let's go with A. That is incorrect. Looking for Jonathan Quick. All right, so at the end of round number two, Michael holds the lead seven to six. It's a tight one, but anything can happen as we get into round number three, which works like this. I have the lovely wheel from willside.com still up, but this time there is no spinners in opponent's choice, just the categories. You'll each get a chance to spin from that wheel and get three questions worth one, two, and three points. You can opt to double them for two, four, and six points. However, they become stealable at that point. Uh, you do have the option to respin if you don't like the category you land on the first time. Uh, we... Start with the player who is behind, which is Jacob. So we'll go ahead and we will bring up the wheel for you. And that's being primed. Once again, as you can see, the categories. All right. And your first spin is in. And it lands on NBA. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Let's go ahead and keep it. Uh, and we'll just go one, two, and three. 
Rich. Thing, all right. Your one point question in the NBA. Who holds the NBA record for most three pointers made in the regular season? Ray Allen. Is incorrect. Look for Steph Curry. It is Steph Curry. Is that all right? Did you mean single season or career? Because if it's career, I believe it also is Ray Allen. I think it's I think same. he just said season. Uh, sing, single season. Okay. Single season. I knew Ray Allen was career. I I I yeah. thought he had season two. I didn't think Steph beat him yet. All right, your two-point question in the NBA. What team did Kevin Garnett go to after leaving the Minnesota Timberwolves? The Boston Celtics. As correct for two points and the lead, so we'll stick with you for your three. And wrap this one up for your turn. Your three-point question in NBA. What year did Kobe Bryant retire? I was really hoping it would be uh, what team did Wilt Chamberlain play for when he scored 100 points in a game? <laughs> <laughs> one co-host here did not like that one. Five. Four. Three. Repeat the question. Two. Three. What year did Kobe Bryant retire? Five, four, three, two, one. Repeat. No answer. All right. I said repeat. Okay. Last repeat. Yep. Last repeat. Uh, what year did Kobe Bryant? Re Just remind your hands on screen, please, if you can. Yes. So, yep. Go. What? 2017. Brooke Avail is your sandwich. It is 2016. 2016. All right. So you have the one point lead on Michael as we bring back the wheel. And NBA is only available for doubling. So your spin is away, Michael, and it lands on. Soccer, would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll spin again. All right, and you are stuck with whatever you land on this time. When you land on EA, uh, you can respin if you don't want the double, as you could take them for, for double. I'll take the double. It's on okay. us. So. Okay. So these do become stealable should you miss. All right, your two point yeah, question yeah. in NBA. I said, even if I take the lead, it, it doesn't end right. Yeah. Just, it, yeah. Steal. Yeah. yeah. Just because of the steals, it doesn't end until we get through them. So your yeah. two-point question in NBA. What state did the Lakers move from? <laughs> Twice in one night. No. Minnesota. <laughs> That's correct. That was not planned at all. Please get reused every match. Sure. All right. Your three point three point question in the NBA. Who is the current coach of the LA Clippers? For four points. All right. And your six point question in the NBA. What team drafted Kareem Abdul Jabbar? Milwaukee Bucks. And your winner, Michael, the Golden God Campbell. That was indeed correct. What a game, Brooklyn. Yes, what a game. Uh, it was it was a tight one back and forth. It just came down to NBA being the thing that they both got. Uh, and it just came out the way that it was. Michael hitting all of his. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get some post-match interviews starting with our winner, Michael Campbell. You have made it to the semifinals of this tournament. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. You know, it's no secret that, like, I'm sort of just coasting off, like, three uh, categories, and hopefully that'll – they'll ride – I'll be able to ride them to the the finals. But, um, you know, he was, he was, like, good. Like, he's legit. Um, so, yeah, I feel I feel it was a good win. Do you know who I could potentially be playing next? Or? Uh, we, know, we know that you will be facing the winner 
of Brooklyn Vale and Thomas Scully in the semifinals. So you may be playing one person on this call. Uh, who, who would you rather play? The, play the guy sitting here or his faction mate? Uh, I would love to nothing more than to make Brooklyn just a salty MFR once again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I think that's something uh, everyone would like to uh, to see is Brooklyn salty. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and congratulations on making it to the semifinals. We'll go over to our unfortunate loser today, Jacob. You played a hell of a game, kept it close the entire time. Uh, how do you feel off that one? Uh, I'm kicking myself. Uh, there were a couple that I got wrong that I knew. Um, uh, should have went double at the end because I knew uh, I knew those questions, uh, but I was a little scared with my last match, um, how difficult that last one would be. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. You, so you said that Michael is going to play either Thomas Scully or Brooklyn Vale. Yep. What are those? Oh, two? sweet! I didn't realize this was a this was a double elimination tournament. Sweet. So who am I playing next? Uh, what happened there was a, a certain man decided to call me out and stop me from playing for my freaking title. Uh, and he did it. So that's what happened. Uh, but hey, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret, Jacob. I'll let you in a secret. If Brooklyn gets his ass kicked by Thomas Scully, I'll let you kick his ass again because I hate this man. Oh, I'll fuck. Let you do that. The kingdom has to, the kingdom always has to one up the new, the new, the new British Empire. They're like, well, if, if Brooklyn beats, if Brooklyn beats Thomas, we'll let you, we'll let, let you guys have him so that Jacob can just spin <laughs> NFL, uh, twice again and then, you know, just get yeah. layup questions. Uh, where, where are the Vikings from? Because, you know, Minnesota questions seem to be the popular thing whenever Caleb go away to Two of those. I'll ask, but, but I'll, no. I'll ask no. you about the links no. next time. How's that? Uh. No. <laughs> I, I don't care who wins that match because I, I don't want Brooklyn. I don't want Brooklyn again. No, I, I'm, I'm eyeing someone, and I'll have to wait for after this tournament. I'm a little upset, but I, I'm eyeing someone to play. Would well, care to give us a tease as to who that might be? Hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Why not? Uh, one of uh, one of your faction mates, uh, Ooh. Caleb. Ooh. Uh, one one man known as uh, Jim Green. I think that'd be a fun Ooh. match. I think that would be a, that would be a fun match fun. indeed. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. But that's gonna do it for us. We'll wrap this one up. Uh, that has been Michael. That has been Jacob. That has been Brooklyn. I am in Caleb and. And this has been Sports Battlefield. I'm not going to say fandom fights this time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We are now underway into the quarterfinals of this tournament. Brooklyn Vale taking on Thomas Scully is going to come up. Jim Green versus Shasta Kirk. Lucas Schilbach versus Russell Howell. Those are your matchups to look out for. It's going to be a good tournament as we are careening towards finding out who's playing Cody Newberry at the end of this tournament. But that will go ahead and wrap it up for us. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week with another great video.